Sagittarius. So before I start your reading, I just want you to know in the link, I have a dating game, Dare to Bear It All, for your purchase, okay? Um, so let's let's continue. So I hear establishing wealth and I hear repetition. Some of you could be, um, and I hear you will be honored. Some of you could be uh, studying, studying for a role. You could be writing something because I hear like backed up data, like you have to back up your data to save it, a report. This is like concentrating on your efforts. This to me seems like work. Be mindful of pouring from an empty cup. But spirit says like right now you're really, really focused, you know? And, and whatever you're going through, spirit wants you to know like you, you are where you're supposed to be, you know? They, it's like set your heart on your destination and, and don't look back, okay? All right. Yeah, don't look back to familiar territories. This could be a season of you uh, stepping out of your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to step out of your comfort zone this season. So don't look back. It can even, all right, I just caught something too. It can even be you looking back because you're afraid. Like, what if things happen the way that it did before? So looking back. So don't look back because <laughs> those days are over. Like I hear your path is being wiped away, set clean. A lot of you can be in a therapeutic state a lot of you can be in a, a field of therapy um, or you can just be going through a season where you could be cleansing. Some of you like spending more time by the water, like water washes away your pain. You're going through and I hear hydrate yourself. You might notice you're more dehydrated and paying attention to like synchronicity. So you could be paying attention to your spirit guides way more than you ever did. Um, like you don't want to be out of touch with reality again or you don't ever want to get stung again it could be a situation it's like me trying to pay attention to my intuition more because the last time that i didn't pay attention to my intuition i i ended up getting hurt so being more aware being more clever wanting to like reinvent yourself and bring back yourself to life in a, in a better way you know um you don't want to repeat a vicious cycle and and you're excited about the changes that are to come but then you you get fearful and you you backtrack so it's like you've taken two step forward to take two step back but every everything is going to work out this is you know what i just felt like overthinking you're you're a lot of thinking you could be in your head right now like a lot of overthinking, a lot of, it's like, take a breather, like breathe, like breathe. <laughs> That's what it seems like, like breathe, like slow down. You know what I'm saying? It's like the, the weight will be lifted off your shoulders if you just breathe and just tune into your breath. Like panicking, you're excited, but you're panicking. You know what I'm saying? So you could be in the house dancing because you feel some energy coming in, but then you go, but but what if, but what if, what, but what if? It's like you're doing a dance. You're clearing that all away. <laughs> you're clearing that all away. Um, yeah, you're going to notice around uh, this season, you're going to want to be surrounded by like more friends. You know, I hear like people that you hold close to your heart. You're stepping away from people that I hear used to hurt you or use you or manipulate you. And you're, you're truly gravitating to love, like genuine love. People who truly love you. People who you know got your back. You're, you're, it's like that type of time, you know? Let me let me see. And I hear like, um, in the past, you, you used to dismiss the red flags. Like red flags used to show up in people, in partners, in friends, and you used to dismiss it. 
it's like you just wanted to see the best in everybody, but not, not, and I also hear guilty pleasures, you know? So you, you could have been impulsive. Um, it could be like a, like a, an escape, wanting, wanting to run away with a partner, you know, do something impulsive, like to escape your pain or to escape your grief or, or your work overload. And it's like, even that is going away. You know, you're starting to realize that me jumping into relationships, jumping into to being cool with everybody is actually getting me more pain. So it's like stepping away from that. This is why you're overthinking now. Now you started overthinking. Now you started overanalyzing because you want to play it smart this time around. You don't want to be impulsive anymore. You want to make right decisions. You you So now you, you question yourself a lot. Some of you can be masking your pain by overeating. Be mindful of, of overeating. If you notice that you, I hear sudden cravings, you have more cravings. It's just anxiety. It's just the pain that you could be masking, like in food. <laughs> Overindulging in food because of anxiety. Fear of the unknown. Unexplained coincidences, but there is no coincidence. It is too much overthinking, Sag. <laughs> Point blank, period. It's just too much overthinking because I feel like I can go on and on and on. It's like breathe. All right. Um, and, and another thing that's stemming from this, you could have released a lot of people because I hear like the weight is off your shoulders. You could have released a specific person. Um, like you dialed back, you pulled your heart out. And it's like it, it hurts you because you wear your heart on your sleeves and your intentions are so pure. They're so good. But whoever this person was, it's like they didn't acknowledge you. They didn't appreciate you. You felt like you wasn't accepted by them. You felt rejected by them. And and it's like it it to to a degree it kind of pisses you off. Like it causes rage, it causes anger that someone could treat you like this when you were when you were truly I hear toxic. They were toxic for you. So so let's get into that. I hear not answering your calls, leaving you on hold. Um and it hurt you. It could have set you back and and like mess with your confidence. And for some of you, it's like you still can't, yeah. It's like for some of you, um, this this person, it's like self-sabotage, you know? I just also heard dancing with the devil. It, it just means someone who was just really, really toxic, even to themselves, you know? Um, a person can't love you more than they love themselves. It looks like this person was toxic to themselves. And this is why they were toxic for you. Let me see. Yeah. And it says sexuality. Like this person could have had a, a, a sex addiction. They had a sex addiction and you probably didn't even realize it. Yeah, this person, it's like they made you lose touch with reality, you know? You could have been in denial <clears throat> about them. Yeah, see? It's like they made you they made you feel trapped. They made you feel tied up. They made you feel like you were in your head all the time. Um, and, and unexplained coincidences, this could mean that you felt like a, this person could have been like your, your destined partner or like a twin flame. And it's because you felt like once you were with them, you had strange coincidences. But wild, you know? This is what I'm talking about, that that impulsive energy. And honestly, like, real talk for some of y'all, they were just really good in bed. <laughs> and you couldn't get enough. For, for some of y'all, that's what I see. It's like, the image that I see, some of y'all ain't gonna like it, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep it real. It's it's almost like someone who was so intoxicating, you know? It's like you needed a, a, a dose of they love and it was full of passion. But then at the same time, you felt like you were sleeping with the enemy. So someone who will give you so much pleasure, who will give you so much pain. It's like that. And you're just tired of it. And a part of you still like 
clinging to hope clinging to hope that this person would heal that this person would get better that this person would soak up in your love like you could have been really hypnotized by this person because it's like soaking in their love you know what i'm saying you're rising up out of that and for some of you i have to be honest Right now, you don't even see how it's possible. It's like you could be in your bed like, dang, I just love them so much. It, it could have hurt you. And I hear like you felt like they strung you along. But they, they, you love them, you know? You're rising up out of that. Season of toxic mates is coming to an end, you know? Yeah. Sexual arts to fill, to fill the hole in your soul. This is exactly what I meant. Like you had a void in your soul and, and so did they, the hole in the soul. So when you feel empty, when you feel lonely, it's like you just wanted this person, the passion. It's like the passion would help you escape the pain. This is why you were so drawn to them. Whoever this person is that you had to fight to get away from, it's like they fantasize about you. They think about you. I hear materialize. They could be trying to manifest you back. <laughs> Damn. Y'all, y'all got yourselves into some shit. You got yourself into some shit. Tell me about this person, spirit. Often fantasizes about you. Yeah. And it's, there's a lot of distance right now. And it could be distant. Um, they feel like there's a lot of distance between you two maybe maybe you not so hungry for them the way you used to be little do they know you're at home trying to fight back the urge you're like at home trying to fight back the urge of not going back you know it could be distance like emotional distance you trying your hardest to to cut off the emotional tie you have with them but they feel the distance they want you back i hear hungry they hungry for you you put it on them They're in their head about you. It says, get out your, get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth, you know? I don't think they expected to fall in love with you. And I hear mirroring each other. Like you, you two mirrored each other a lot. Whether you realize it or not, you did. You both, you both were trying to feel, fill avoid and you both turn to each other it's all this passion but every time y'all connected it, it brought up wounds and it caused more pain which caused you to go within like this this was spiritual more than anything yeah this is like betrayal it's so crazy you felt betrayed by them for how they treated you but they feel betrayed by you for leaving them they feel, they feel like because you won't give them yourself the way that you used to, they feel very betrayed by you. You know what I'm saying? And I hear harnessing a lot of pain. This person has so many deep wounds. And whether you realize it or not, I hear exposing the truth. You will be exposed to the truth if you haven't been. It's like they wanted you to heal them. You could have like a healing touch or... Baby, there could be something special in your juices. It, it don't matter. Whatever it is, there was something very healing about you. Um, and they want you back. And I don't like the way it looks because it's almost like a... a and I, I'm tired of this word, but it's like a narcissist that needs supply. But like wants to hook you in. It, it just seems... It seems... The energy of this seems very toxic. The energy of it, it, it seems toxic. It seems very intoxicating. <laughs> I'm going to continue on to the extended, okay? 